Okay, so you just logged into your TikTok ads account and you see a dreaded red box, something like this up in the top left-hand corner saying that your account is suspended. Or maybe you checked your email and got an email from TikTok saying that your TikTok ads account is suspended. First of all, I do want to tell you, I know just how stressful like something like this can be, but don't worry. In this video, I'm gonna be walking you through exactly how to appeal um, this decision from TikTok. I'm actually gonna show you the two different ways that you can do that. And then after I go through and show you that process, I do also want to go through some of the common reasons why TikTok ads accounts get Get suspended and flagged and common reasons that people don't realize uh, so that hopefully you don't ever have to watch a video like this again and your TikTok ad account will be compliant and you won't have any problems with those kind of things. So uh, let's go through, start off with the two different ways that you can get your account appealed so that you can start running ads again because I'm sure that's why most of you are here. So let's jump right into this. So the first way to get your ad account uh, appealed is to come over here to this little question mark. And up in this little question mark, inside of your TikTok ads account, you can see there is a customer support button. You wanna click on that and then from here, you can see mine might look a little bit different because I've submitted lots of different tickets uh, to, in different uh, TikTok ads accounts, but you may see something that's here that says like, contact us, or in my case, I have managed tickets because I've submitted tickets before. If you click on the manage tickets or the contact us, it will take you to this little thing right here. You can see I have ongoing tickets currently um, in this. Let me move myself out of the way here just a little bit. And then right here, I have submit a ticket. What you wanna do is click submit ticket, and then that is going to load this up here and it is going to ask for a specific category and you of course are looking for account review and appeals. Now, if, the, if you just have a disapproved ad group or a disapproved ad, this, will, this process is basically the same. Uh, if you're on this video, chances are your whole account is probably flagged. You're getting something that says your entire account like this is um, suspended. If you don't see this, but an ad isn't running and it is disapproved, it may just be at the ad level. So you just need to determine which ad, which level this is at. For us, it is our entire ads manager here. So we're going to do a suspended ads manager appeal once that is done, you can go through and give this a name. Typically, I do the uh, like appeal suspension or something like that. Appeal suspend. You can give your first name, your preferred language. This is where it adds, asks for the ad group ID. Now, if you or your entire ad account is suspended, then this isn't really going to matter. You just you can leave this blank. If it's a specific ad group that is appealed, then you can go through and get that ad ID and then put it in there. Here's going to ask if you are an agency or not. I am an agency, so I put here, yes here. And then appeal reason. So this is where you can go through and uh, kind of state your case on why your account shouldn't be suspended. Now. Chances are, some of you watching this video, maybe your account is suspended because it isn't in, in, in compliance with the guidelines that TikTok has laid out. So that's why in the second half of this video, I'm gonna go through some of the common reasons why um, TikTok ads accounts are suspended. But you can go through and you can choose one of these reasons, don't understand the account suspension, disagree with the suspension, um, agree with it, uh, but requesting another round of reviews, something along those lines. So you can just click one of these and uh, go through there. Then you can give more details, add screenshots, and then hit submit. Now, once you've gone through and submitted that, uh, it's going to create a ticket for you. Inside of that ticket, you can see here, I have ongoing tickets. Um, this is where you can click on that and it will show you, if I click on this, it will give you an idea of the status of that ticket. You can see the whole history of everything. So this is once you've submitted the ticket, this is where you can go through and view those tickets. And again, that's coming over here to the question mark up to customer service, uh, customer support, sorry. Once, I, once you're inside of customer support, you just click on manage tickets and then you, there you'll see your tickets coming through. So that's the first way to go through and submit the appeal. And to be honest, this is kind of the tried and true way to do it, but it's a little bit longer of, uh, uh, there's a little bit more button clicks. If you want a fast and easy way, uh, actually right here, you can see in this red button, you can click on the fix it button. If you click here, now this won't show up on every single account, so I'll show you another way how to get here. But if you click on this fix it button, this is the second way that you can go through and quickly appeal the account. Uh, now inside of here, it is going to say fix it and then it's going to load up this and then right here, you're gonna see my account. This account has been suspended due to a long period of inactivity. So this is where it's actually going to give you an idea of why your account was suspended. And then from here, what you can do is you can actually go through and click a pill. A pill. Now, if you don't see the red banner and you can't get to this page, another way to get here is if you come into your to tools and settings and then account setup, it will take you to the same page. And then from here, you can go through and click a pill. While you're in here, you will wanna make sure you go through and view uh, verification information and actually go through and complete that process because that's gonna help in the process to uh, not get suspended again. So those are the two best ways to get your TikTok ads account appeal submitted. Now, in my experience, usually a TikTok ads appeal takes around 48 hours to get a respond back. Uh, business days, 48 hour business days to get a respond back. And keep in mind that just because you submit an appeal doesn't mean that it is going to actually work and that your TikTok ads account is going to be reinstated. Some of the things, uh, and that's why I wanted to talk about some of the common reasons why TikTok ads accounts get banned in the first place so that you can avoid these mistakes or maybe fix them before you go through and submit your appeal.
So here are some of the common reasons that I've seen. These are in no way all of the reasons that TikTok uh, gets accounts suspended. I will leave a link to this down below to the uh, TikTok advertising policies and ad creative guide. This goes through and runs you through all the different uh, policies that you should be aware of. I would encourage you if you are running TikTok ads to be somewhat familiar with these, but I do wanna go through some of the common ones to maybe save you some time uh, just when you are glancing over things. The Honestly, the most common one that I see is account inactivity. So after a certain amount of time, if your account has not been running ads or if it is not active at all, TikTok will actually go through and uh, suspend that account. This is for security reasons. So somebody doesn't hack into that account and start running ads uh, under your account. So that is a very common reason. And in the case that we're looking at right here, that's actually the reason why this one is suspended. You can see suspended due to long period of inactivity. So that's the first thing. Next one is payment info issues. Uh, now this can be a lot of different reasons. Maybe you put it in the wrong credit card or maybe you have a credit card that has already been flagged in another account. When you are setting up a brand new TikTok ads account, if you use the same credit card that has been used in a different ads account that has been suspended, TikTok has all that information and they are going to flag that account right away. So if you are gonna be opening up a brand new TikTok ads account and using the same credit card, uh, you're probably gonna see the same results. So I would encourage you to use a new credit card when opening up a new, uh, new TikTok ads account. Third is copyright music. This is a very big one. A lot of people have the misconception that because TikTok has rights to all these musics and things that you can use organically when you're posting on your uh, normal profile, that you can also use those in ads. That is not the case. When you are running TikTok ads, you wanna make sure that the music is copyright free. Now, if for whatever reason you are not sure if the music that you are using in your TikTok ads is copyright free or allowed to use inside of an ad, I would encourage you to go through and check it. There's a qu quick way that you can check it. If you come over here to the TikTok Creative Center, I'll leave a link to this down below. So once you're inside of TikTok Creative Center, what you wanna do is come over here to Creative Tools and then Commercial Music Library. Once you're inside of here, then these are all the, the, all the music that you can use for advertising for commercial use basically. So once you're inside of here, then you can go through and search for your specific music and make sure that it actually is in this library. If it is not, then that means it is not uh, something that you can use for commercial use and it's not something you should use inside of your ad. So it's definitely worth going through and giving this a quick check inside of here. This is the TikTok Creative Center. I'll leave a link to this down below. Just come over here to the commercial music library and then you can go through and search for your specific song. This fourth one is one that a lot of times people overlook and that is a bad landing page experience. There's lots of different ways to have a bad landing page experience, whether it loads slow, maybe there's lots of pop-ups inside of it, or you don't have down here, as you can see, you don't have the correct legal pages or on your landing pages, such as the privacy policy, terms and conditions, return policy, um, things like that. Those kind of links out to those pages, especially if you're running an e-commerce, uh, running ads and selling goods and services, it's really important to have those things on your landing page. If you don't, then your TikTok ads account could get suspended. Going along with landing pages. Another thing is changing the landing pages after the ads have already been reviewed. So say that you have a landing page, you go through, you submit the ads, they get approved. And then right after that, you go through and change the landing pages. TikTok can sometimes see that as like a malicious thing because you now are changing the landing page after it's already been approved and they've already crawled it. So that is another way to get your ad account suspended. If you are going to go through and make changes on your landing pages, I would just give yourself a little bit of time before, before and after the ads have actually been approved. And then credit card information, this goes along with the uh, payment infos uh, information that I talked about. If you're using the same credit card that's already been used on another account, they're going to flag that. Billing address is another thing that, uh, same thing with the credit cards. If you're using the same billing address as another account that has already been suspended, it is going to get suspended again as well. And then also same thing with emails. Don't use the same email that you've used before uh, for another account because that is going to result in the same thing. Now, a few other things that TikTok does uh, highlight that could suspend your account as well is that they receive complaints about your account from people or other channels, like maybe somebody flagging your ad for something. Uh, there was problems with your ad creative or the service services that you provided. You may change this landing page after uh, you launch the campaign, as we mentioned. Uh, there's malicious intent. You know, if you're doing malicious intent, then you probably have, you're not surprised that your ad account is getting suspended or you're violating the TikTok advertising guidelines or standards. Uh, like, like I said, I will leave a link down below to all the standards inside of there so you can go through and check that out. So hopefully you found that helpful. If you are new to TikTok ads and just getting ready to start your account, be sure to check out the link down below. I do have uh, free credits that you can claim when you cre create a brand new TikTok ads account. Uh, so be sure to check those out and take advantage of that and we'll see you in the next one.